Hi sewing friends, welcome to my channel. This is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. I hope you're having a fabulous week. Um, it is Tuesday, September 17th, and um, I had a fabulous weekend. I don't know about you, but um, I had a blast. I, we took our granddaughter to Cedar Point this weekend and rode all the rides, did all the things, and it was a wonderful time. A couple things today, I'm going to show you everything I made in August and talk a little bit about my plans for September. Um, one thing that I did want to show you first was I have a tiny haul for you to see. Um, today or yesterday I was in Walmart and um, they had what they call grab and go and they had them for three dollars and they were bolts of five yards of fabric. So I was just going to show you what I got. I do not know how these are going to wash up. Um, time will tell I guess but I figure at least they're good for wearable muslins, if nothing else, for 60 cents a yard. <laughs> um, you really can't beat it. So they had this wonderful, it's a, a jersey, it's a polyester jersey, but it's a real nice soft feel to it. Um, it almost feels like a double brushed poly, maybe it's single brushed, but it's a really, really soft fabric. And this one is a sweater knit, like a Hachi knit. A little bit thin, but um, it would make a nice cardigan. Um, these were all five yards um, and only $3 a piece. So I don't know, you can't beat that. Especially, you know, if you want to try a new pattern and you, you know, kind of want to muslin it, but you kind of like to have something to wear. This is a great, you know, easy way to, to do that. This is just a white jersey knit. Pretty sure this is the same uh, polyester knit as that gray. Um, like I said, it's a little bit thin, but, um, you know, I think it will make a nice t-shirt or cami or maybe even a nice little set of PJs or something. Um, another, another one of the, um, polyester jerseys. This one is gray and I liked it a lot. And then this one was a woven. This is a burgundy, um, I thought it was just like a canvas or denim, and then when I got it home, it's actually uh, kind of a taffeta, but a nice muted one. Um, I think it can be rather dressy, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but it's really nice, and there's five yards of it, so there certainly is plenty to do. Maybe a jumpsuit. Ooh, I just thought of that. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing something with that for sure. That might be a good good one to use to try a Zadie or a Sky jumpsuit. Something I've been wanting to do. And then uh, the last Walmart one I have is, this was a stretch lace and it, it was really nice. I Cream colored lace and there's, there's five yards of this. So um, I certainly can find probably more than one thing to do with this. Um, Maybe I can do something for myself and something for my granddaughters with this. I'm just thinking almost of making a, um, just a lace cardigan. Um, you know, like maybe a boyfriend cardigan or something. It's just nice, long and sort of flowy, but a do French seam so that it was all, um, you know, nice on the inside and maybe do a cardigan. I don't know, just thought. Um, I had that in a bag so it doesn't snag because that um, stretch lace snags really easily. Okay, so that's my haul that I found at Walmart and um, I think uh, I think it was a good find. So if you're near a Walmart, um, you might want to check that out and see what kind of gems they have in their clearance area. Okay, so for, for August, the things that I made. Um, I had two Minerva blog post makes, which you will see on Minerva. See, the next one that I have coming up is October 4th, which is uh, actually a dress I made uh, a while ago. And then I have jeans coming up on December 14th, I think. And then I have um, the a cardigan that I made coming up in January. So they're spaced. Um, really far out into the future, but I guess they're trying to do something with their website. So um, they're kind of spaced out, but um, they're done and they'll be really neat when they finally come online. So the first thing I did was um, some jeans for Minerva. 
Um, these are Tessa jeans and I have a whole video about them so I'm not going to go into them too much. Um, I'll link the video up here um, so that you can um, go and watch that. I did take uh, everybody through um, making a muslin of jeans and finding your crotch depth and those kind of things. So if you're interested in um, fitting a pair of jeans, you might want to go check that out. I also did a test uh, for Love Notions for the little boy's sprint muscle shirt. And I made one of those for my grandson. And um, I, after the test was over, then I, he, he thinks he's a pirate. So, um, it's very cute. I should actually show you. Maybe I'll insert the video here of him pretending he's a pirate because it's actually really comical. So anyway, he, um, I made the shirt and did the tester photos and everything, but then after we were done, um, I put this little pirate logo on there for him and he loves it. And now his baby sister, who's two, keeps asking me for a pirate shirt. So um, that'll be one of my things for September. I need to make her a pirate shirt. I have to find a girly pirate shirt somehow. <laughs> um, but I'll figure it out. Um, and then I made the one I'm wearing now. Um, this is a Summer Basics tank. It's a maxi. And I did take a picture of it this morning here. Um, it's a maxi and this is um, cotton lycra from Hobby Lobby and um, it's just a, I like it because the colors are muted enough that they're really good for fall as well so I can wear this with a denim jacket um, as we go into the fall um, time um, and then I made a Melody Dolman which was my favorite Beatles shirt um, I'll put a picture up here. I also have a whole video about that one as well. It was part of the Sew a Top Challenge. Um, and um, I absolutely love that shirt. It's like my favorite. <laughs> so um, that'll be linked up there as well. I also made a French Terry uh, Canyon cardigan by Love Notions. Um, first time I've made that pattern, I really enjoyed it. Um, the only alterations I made to that was to lower the bodice a little bit. In hindsight, I think I would have been better to leave it alone. But it's a great cardigan. Um, French Terry was incredible to work with. I'll put a link to that. Actually, I'll put a link to that fabric and also the denim from Minerva um, as well that I used for the jeans. So you can kind of see um, the quality. and. Just because they're in the UK, um, don't be afraid to order from them because their um, their shipping is very reasonable. So it's actually competes with the shipping of places here in the US. So um, don't be afraid of that at all. Um, everything I've gotten from them has been top notch quality. So um, very happy with the fabrics I've gotten. And this French Terry was especially um, just nice. It's, it's warm without being too overly warm. Um, it's soft. Um, loved, loved that fabric. So the blog post for it, unfortunately, won't go up until January, um, like the first week in January. But, um, but I can tell you that um, the fabric was a dream to work with. And the Canyon Cardigan is a really nice pattern. It just, it just flows really nice. It has a pleat in the back. Um, I really liked it a lot. I'll be making more of those. One of my plans for the channel coming up, I just love cardigan. So many of the fabrics that I bought at Zinc's um, this last time, uh, I had my eye on it for cardigans. So I plan to make maybe a different cardigan pattern for, for each one. And um, I might do a cardigan roundup and then kind of review all the cardigan patterns. So um, yeah, I think I probably will do that. So. We'll see. I have already made two Blackwood cardigans and um, the Canyon. Um, I also want to make the Boyfriend cardigan from Love Notions and the Aviro cardigan from Itch to Stitch. And I know there's a few more out there. So um, I'm going to try and do that um, coming up here probably 
Uh, I've got plans. I'm planned out pretty far right now, but um, it'll be coming up this fall sometime. Um, I also, my daughter was at an event and saw somebody with a tank that she loved. And because um, just the fit of it, she said she just loved the way the cut was on this tank. And she asked the girl, where'd you buy that? And she said, oh, it's a pattern. Um, somebody sewed it for her. And so she said, and this girl is actually on the um, Patterns for Pirates Facebook group with me. So she said, oh, your mom will know what it is. It's the essential tank. So um, I did make her one. Um, this is purple jersey that um, was given to me from my niece who was clearing out her stash. Um, I had just one yard, actually just under a yard, and I was able to make uh, my daughter this great purple tank, and she loves it. We'll be making more of those for sure. And another thing that I made is a tailgate tote for my son for his birthday. He loves the Kansas City Chiefs, and I think I've talked about that on the channel before. Um, and um, this is the finished product up here. The pattern is not for beginners. Um, I will warn you, um, it's a little tough, uh, parts of it, but it was well worth the effort. So if you're interested, I'll put the link to that free pattern, um, down in my, um, descriptions. So all together in August, I made seven things. So it was fairly productive in August. Um, and I've already done quite a bit in September. I'm not going to show those to you yet, but... I'll just tell you uh, what so I far I've made uh, a little a couple little outfits for a new baby girl who um, is was born to a friend of ours from our worship team a nice young couple and they're really sweet and the, um, the little girl's name is Evelyn and they're gonna call her Eve and so um, I made these two little outfits for her they're both from the same pattern and um, I'll talk more about those in my September makes <laughs> Um, and um, I made the Presto tunic um, for a collaboration with the lovely Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles, one of my dear friends, and um, that was a fun make, and there's a whole video about that one as well. Um, I also made a self-drafted cami, um, trying to perfect my cami pattern, so I will show that to you as well. Um, I kind of started with the Savannah pattern from Seamwork and added a dart and added thicker straps and added facings. Um, so yeah, it's kind of self-drafted with a little guy, you know, with a little reference to some pattern just for shaping. And um, yeah, I'll show that to you. I'm going to make more of those as well. So um, you'll see it, uh, at least one more of those in September. So, so far, I've actually made four things um, in September. My next make, I have the fabric sitting here in front of me. I'm going to make uh, a denim jacket out of this. Um, I was going to do the Audrey jacket until I saw the Itch to Stitch Etnis or Etnis, Etnis. I'm not sure how to pronounce that place. Um, and when I saw that pattern, I loved the shape of it. And I was talking with a few girls who were testing the pattern and they were saying how it just was a nice shape, it wasn't boxy and stuff. So I decided to splurge on that pattern and use that one. Um, so this is my next make and I know it's kind of springy, but you know what, I wear bright colors all year round because I love them. And don't you think this jacket needs to be worn with those jeans that I have the butterflies on the butt? <laughs> anyway, I love this, so um, I'll be making that. It's my very next make. Um, I'm also testing the game day shirt from Love Notions um, for men. So I've already made one version up for my husband and I'll be doing their final version. And then he has requested that we have matching ones. Um, so I'm going to be doing some matching Ohio State shirts for us. So that should be fun to do. Um, so I'll do the ladies game day tea and um, the final version of the men's for him as well. And I'm also going to be making a girl pirate shirt, apparently. <laughs> um, I also have, you know, the, the haul that I got from Zinks, um, there were a number of things that I really like basics for my wardrobe that I need to sew up 
like soon. Um, I have coral um, knit that I need a, I need a tee for that. A purple knit, I need a tee for that. I also need a navy tee or cardigan. Um, I may just go ahead and make a cardigan because I have quite a bit of that. I have some olive colored denim. I'm probably going to do some either culottes or a jean skirt with that. Um, I'm going to make a serenity sweater um, out of this. I think it would look really pretty over whatever those olive bottoms are that I'm going to make. Um, so I think that'll, I was going to do a cardigan with this, but um, I don't know if you've seen this serenity pattern. I'll put a, a line art up here for you. Um, but it's just a really nice flowy top. Um, and then I w made the tan cardigan um, that I can actually put underneath it. So um, I think that will be really neat. I also have my September uh, project on the 24th. It would be a Colette Sorbetto, and that's going to be a solid coral. Um, that is a um, sleeveless tee with a little pleat detail in front, and it's a sew along. So um, please join in on September 24th. And it's part of the September 2019 challenge. This is National Sewing Month. And um, every year they have a challenge um, with prizes. So if you sew any of the patterns in the challenge, you can put them on Instagram with a hashtag and um, you could be entered into uh, the drawing uh, for some prizes. And the sponsors are great. Um, and there's uh, five of us, six of us, <laughs> I always think we get mixed up how many. Um, doing the challenge, um, it's myself, um, Akram's ideas. Akram is the one um, who started it up. Elizabeth made this, Penguin and Pear, Whitney Sews, and Megan had made. And some of them are already online, so um, go ahead and check out their um, the playlist I'm linking below. It has a playlist with all of the videos in it. Um, so you can pick your pattern that you want to make, follow along, and then tag it, hashtag September 2019, and you'll be entered for a drawing. And there's some lovely prizes um, this time, too. How long have I been telling you that I need to finish this jeans refashion? This has been cut out forever, and I just keep having other things I need to do. Um, but I just need to sew this up. This is a Colette Phoebe. Uh, can be worn as a jumper for fall. Um, it's it's going to be so cool. And I just don't know why I haven't sewn it yet. So <laughs> I should be doing this really soon. Um, it was made out of 11 pairs of jeans. I used all the flat fold seams um, for this bodice. Um, I should probably finish this for the so frugal challenge because I didn't buy any of this fabric. This is all my husband and I had a bunch of old jeans and I just took the flat felt seams from all of them. Um, the other pieces are cut from various parts of the jeans. There's 11 pieces of jeans in here. Excuse me. There goes my puppies again. What would it, what would a video be without my dogs interrupting me? <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, I've got some big plans for September and um, I hope that I can get it all done. Um, there's only two weeks left of September. So um, yeah, I'll report back, I guess, when we do a September wrap up. Um, on the channel here, um, I hope in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing another Shop and Sew, which will be um, for fall fashion and uh, match what I see up with patterns. Um, so that should be fun. And this is my first year of doing, you know, uh, a blog or vlog at Christmas time. And I guess there's a thing that they um, call Vlogmas. And um, I guess um, it's where you do a video every day in December. So I'm actually thinking of pre recording those. Um, they won't be. Um, done on the day of because December is very, very busy for me. Um, but I'm thinking about doing it. However, I will not be calling it Vlogmas. Um, I'll obviously have to put that word in my tags and stuff somewhere to be able to get YouTube to recognize it for what it is. But 
I um I don't like putting things in place of Christ at Christmas time. I'm sorry if that offends anybody, but I prefer to keep the word Christmas intact. Sorry about that, but um, if that offends you, I'm really sorry, but that's just who I am. So I'll be probably be calling it a gift advent calendar or something like that. Um, so it'll be a different gift idea for every day in December. And as it gets close, you know, it might be um, just some quick ideas that you can do at the last minute. So, um, yeah, so you can, you know, if you have any, um, any thoughts on that, please feel free to share. So what are your sewing plans for September? Um, leave me a note in the comments and let me know what you're making. Some of you are on Instagram and I love seeing um, what everyone's making on Instagram. Um, truly, some of you are just phenomenal sewists. So um, I love to see what you're making. So please um, keep that coming on Instagram and um, you can send me a private message on Instagram if I'm not following you, let me know and I will. And um, yeah, so those are my plans. I hope, uh, hope yours are gonna be fun as well. Um, I'll see you on Friday. Um, on Friday, we'll be um, doing the so, some of the sewing for the skirt. Um, we're gonna be putting in the zipper, um, basting in the side seams, checking fit, um, and of course the darts. So um, not in that order. <laughs> And there's been at least one question asked on the comments that I will answer in the beginning. Um, so um, look forward to Friday. And um, in the meantime, happy sewing.